Now the application wasn't launched through Finder, but we should be able to successfully launch it through Finder. Let's have a little test of the theory. Okay, so in the debug directory where the output goes, here are all the Monobj C bridge DLLs. Notice that by default the project template actually references every single one of the Monobj C DLLs assemblies. In truth, the chances are you'll only actually be interested in looking at the Coco bridge library in addition to the primary Monobj C assembly. So you could quite so happily get rid of the rest of the references to the other Monobj C assemblies. Here is the app bundle being displayed as app bundles regularly are. If we launch it, oh, it's still running from before, let's just kill that. So now it's not running at all and launch it again and up it pops quite happily. OK, so the application is functional, but we haven't yet worked out how to do any coding. So let's move on to that next. First, I need to modify the user interface to enable the code to do something. So I'm going to make a bit of space, pop on a button, and give it a title. It's going to cause the application to speak the contents of the text view as best it can. Okay, now, how does functionality operate in this MVC-oriented application framework? All of the code we're going to write will reside in the main window controller class. We need something that is essentially an event handler for the button, so we need a method which will be triggered when the button is pressed. Now, in Coco, the way this works is with actions. The idea is the button will generate an action when it's pressed, and we need to connect that action to an action method in the controller class, which we'll do. Now, that action method will need to talk to the text view. In order for the controller class to talk to the text view, I need to set up an outlet. The outlet will be connected to the text view. OK, so let's select the classes page on the library window and locate the main window controller class, which is here. And if there was anything interesting in the lineage or the inheritance hierarchy, we could see it here, for example. Here's an inheritance hierarchy for a different class. Um, we have an outlets page and an actions page that we can work with. On the outlets page, I'm going to add a new outlet and I'm going to call it text view. And then on the actions page, I'm going to set up a new action method called talk to me. Now, one key thing here is that in Objective-C, when a method takes parameters, there is a colon suffixed onto the end of the method name. So I need to remember to put the colon on. Then having to find those two, having to find one outlet and one action, I can set to connecting them up. So in order to get the button to trigger the talk to me action, I need to hold down the control key and then drag from the button down to the window controller, which defines that action. When I let go, it gives me a list of all the actions available, and I can choose Talk to Me. Similarly, I need to connect the outlet to the window controller. Now, the outlet is going to be the text view, which defines the text that I want to read. So I'm going to drag from the controller onto the text view, and it says, which of these one outlets would you like to connect to? And I'm going to connect to the text view. Now we can see a summary of all the connections on a given object by selecting the object and going to the connections page of the inspector. Here we can see I've got one outlet connected to a text view and one action connected to a button. Similarly, if I select the button, I can see that it will send an action uh, to the main window controller. OK. Having set up the connections, we can save the changes and switch back to Visual Studio and proceed. Currently, the main window controller class looks fairly empty. Uh, however, it is a partial class, and so there are actually parts of this class defined elsewhere. For example, there is a part of it defined inside of this main window controller.designer file. There's also a part of it defined in this designable.paz unit. Now, before we look at the designable.paz unit to see what's in there, we need to make sure it's up to date because it represents the content of the nib file which we've just changed. So to make sure it's up to date, we simply right click on the nib file and choose run custom tool. 
This runs a special nib importer which will generate source code that represents the contents of the nib file. And what we find is that we have another section of the main window controller class here. And this has a definition of a field called text view, which is defined to be an NS text view. And that is marked with the attribute Objective C field, such that it can connect correctly with the Objective C Coco library via the Monobj C bridge. Additionally, we have a method, talk to me, declared with an appropriate parameter but marked as empty. There's no implementation in this particular file, it's just essentially a forward declaration, although without currently any implementation. This is also marked with an attribute, Objective-C message, which again is necessary to hook it into the underlying Objective-C architecture. Okay, so what we'll need to do is implement this partial method. So we'll copy the declaration, go to where we do our main implementation, the main window controller.paz unit, pop in the declaration, implement the method, and do whatever we need to do. So let's declare a variable called speech of type ns speech synthesizer and initialize it to be a new ns speech synthesizer. We'll initialize the synthesizer and then Then we'll start speaking some given string. And this string will be extracted from the text view. The text view we can access through the text view variable. And in order to access the contents of it, we use its string property. There. So let's build that. That's a successful build. Let's switch back to the Mac terminal. And let's rerun the bundled app. OK, type in the traditional greeting and see how we get on. Hello world from Delphi Prism and Coco. There we go. Can't ask for more than that. We have a genuine looking Coco driven Mac application with a real Mac UI, all built in Mono using the Monopsy Bridge Library with Delphi Prism.